Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and tonight we have the Fantasy Suites. Now listen, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to operate this, but what's happened in the past is the Fantasy Suite and the Women Tell All will be intermingled. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, we'll have to see. It's a two-night event, tonight, tomorrow night. I'm going to be doing live streams before and after each episode. I need Starbucks, I need it now. Uh, so tonight, 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast, we'll have a pre episode live stream and then right after the east coast 10 p.m we'll have a after show live stream same for tomorrow all right let's get into it fantasy suites live and by the way if you want some non-bachelor content dave neal show has entertainment news and now i've got bachelor i'm sorry now i've got love is blind um and i've got uh shake calling out nick lachey and deeps and kyle are they a thing oh my gosh can you imagine oh boy so if you want to catch up on that channel now you know you can do that dave neal show okay let's get into it here are some of the i'm going to play three or four of the different trailers that we have for tonight's um fantasy suites and then we'll break it down discuss it and see what the heck actually goes down so yeah here's the calendar of events just so you guys know woman tell all and fantasy suites tonight and tomorrow and then the live finale event next week Alrighty, let's get into it. Here's Rachel. I love Clayton, but I don't know how he feels. So I don't know if I would be able to go in a fantasy suite not knowing where he's at at all. After hometowns, I was so happy. But during the rose ceremony, I couldn't read you. And I, I feel like I normally can. And I was I remember like looking at you and like I genuinely was terrified. It really did put everything into perspective of how I actually feel. And I did, I cried <laughs> the entire drive to the hotel because I was like, I don't know where he's at, I don't know. Yeah, um, I mean, I definitely have had something, you know, kind of weighing on me. Mm -hmm. um, I've come to terms like with what I am feeling. Um, and I kind of wish I had told you earlier. Coming up tonight, uh, doo -boo -boo -doo -boo. and here we have Kelly Johns over here. Our good friend Kelly John says he's going to say, I love you. Boucher says emotions are at an all time high. And yeah, can you imagine that? Can you imagine you're about to marry someone or at least get engaged and you just can't read them? Bachelor Windmill says, Clayton, where I'm at? Well, I want to sleep with Gabby and Susie and you, and then hopefully you'll forgive me. <laughs> that's kind of how it's going to go. So that's Rachel. And if you have, um, listen, uh, no spoilers here because we don't have any. But in my book, Rachel's been the front runner since day one. When you're the front runner, you generally have your eyes on the prize and the other ladies don't mean as much because you kind of have that confidence. There's just always a way on the show for them to implant some confidence into the front runners. But now, obviously, she's not the only one here, so she's starting to ruminate and wonder what's going to happen. Now, let's see the next trailer that we have. Hey. Hi. Hi. How's everybody feeling? Good. Good. Well, congratulations on making it to Iceland. Within a matter of days, there's a really great chance that one of you is going to be engaged to Clayton. Mm -hmm. oh this really God. is the most important week yet because over the next couple of days, each of you will be embarking on a meaningful and intimate overnight date with Clayton. So yes, I'm talking about fantasy suites. The time in that fantasy suite could bring you two closer than you ever thought possible. Oh Got the first date card right here. Wish you all the best of luck, and I hope to see all of you at the next Rose Ceremony. Thanks, Thanks Jesse. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Jesse's girls. Coming up tonight. All right, and of course the comments are, oh, I have a feeling that the fact that they're all staying together is going to be a problem. No, not you guys rooming them all together. So awkward. Oh, fantasy suites in Iceland? Cool. Prepare our hearts for all the drama that is about to happen. Uh, yeah. You know, it was in the past, you know, sort of the rule where they would uh, sequester, quarantine, socially distance the finalists so that they weren't wondering, you know, someone was coming back with their hair disheveled, a piece of gum stuck in it, or, or God knows what else, you know what I mean? And uh, you're you're left to let your mind wander. And But now, now they're, they're sticking them together. They're saying, all right, batter up, who's next? And they all get to see kind of each other's reactions, which is, it really is psychological warfare. Does it make for better TV? Yes. Is it uh, is it torture? Are they flying too close to the sun? Could something horrifying happen? 
that is true too. All right, Susie, you're Those up. Those tears weren't fake. Oh, this is the woman tell all. Hold on. I slept with both. There are things that I feel like I can't compromise. She just completely destroyed me. My heart's not in it anymore. My heart's out. The Bachelor Two Night event tonight and tomorrow. I like that he speaks third person for his heart. My heart's not in it anymore. My heart's out. And then this is uh, more about the women tell all. But listen, you guys, it's hard to break up the women tell all from the fantasy suites. I'm trying to break them up, but they're so intertwined. So we have really just a good heart to heart with Rachel and Clayton, but we don't have any other trailers. Or right, let's here's a here's a trailer with Gabby. I'm so excited to have my overnight date with Clayton. This date's important for us to potentially take things to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. I was hoping an Icelandic cruise with strawberries and champagne, but I think um, that's not it. Gabby's the type where she's funny, so like, she, yeah, I bet you it's always it always feels to me like the funny, goofy person is the one that they can put in like the yurt or whatever the alternative uh, location is. Oh, Let's see God. what she gets. <laughs> A windmill? Hi! <laughs> what is going on? It's so cold. Nice I'm extremely excited to see Gabby today. I have a really, really fun Doom Buggy day planned for the two of us. I'm really excited for it. Can't wait. Something I've never done. 30? This is crazy. I really love so many things about her. And I'm excited to see like what today brings. Being there with Clayton, I can see us like always playing around and living some of our life like this. It's really so fun. I can see myself with Clayton for the rest of my life. So I have like some things that I have left to say to him before he makes a decision about an engagement. Coming up tonight. People say Gabby is literally a national treasure. We don't deserve her. It's Gabby's personality for me. Chef's kiss says Marlena. Of course, we love Gabby. And let's see, are we? Are there any other previews that we've missed out i think that's it it looks like we've got a gabby and a rachel but we don't really have a Susie preview is that because Susie self-eliminates is it self-eliminating Susie? we really don't know we really don't know what's going to go down here's the final trailer that abc released just having moments ago one hour ago this is more for the women tell all but i wanted to share it with you since you know we share these trailers Bachelor ABC says, you'll be left speechless from the Bachelor's two-night event starting tonight on ABC. Let's have a watch. Watch this back. What do you have to say to Shanae now, now that she's in front of you? You manipulated the women. You manipulated me. I trusted you. I believed you. And it was the worst thing that I could have done. You asked for openness, vulnerability, honesty. I gave you all of that. From the bottom of my heart, f you, Shanae. The honesty to our faces, calling us bitches. After the hundredth time I'm trying to explain myself, now you want to listen? I need to grow. And I certainly, as I've seen this, I could have been better. Stop listening to other people and listen to yourself. Genevieve, <laughs> I see you have something to say. What would you like to tell Clay? Looking back, what are your thoughts on how you asked me if I'm an actress and if I'm lying to you after watching back? all the stuff that was said behind the scenes. <laughs> Clayton, did the, he, Clayton did the perfect response that I always do when you don't know what you're about to say. Mm, you just see like, you're about to say something, you're like, let's not say that again. That's what you learn in a relationship. You learn, here's what I want to say. Let's start filtering it out before I actually say that because once it's out of the bag, you can't put it back in. So Jesse Palmer says, I uh, googly eyes, popcorn emoji. Bitch Rose says, ready for the Shanae roast. Back to Love Doc says, I think Shanae is confusing honesty for say anything you want. It's a shame she gets more airtime. It's going to be a long night indeed, Bachelor, whatever. We'll have to see how it all plays out. As you guys know, when the season comes to an end, we get a ton of voicemails from you guys. If you want to call in, I'll be playing your voicemails on the live streams. Tell me what you think. Try to keep it as quick as possible. Get right down to the point. I always appreciate the phone calls, but I know we're going to get a lot of them. 401-213-9828. Get the number ready. Call in, and we'll see you guys one hour before tonight's episode and right after East Coast time. All right, folks. We'll talk to you in a little bit. It's getting to the finale. And again, if you want more content, click on that button right there. And you can go watch my Love is Blind content. Two videos up on the Dave Neal Show. Bye, everybody.